Today we have this problem where we need to find this shaded area that is red. We have three circles, they are equal and they have the radius of 1. So we have radius equals 1. We can also write it over here just to display. So our goal is to find this area. So area question mark. So to find this area, we first need to find the area of something different. The only thing we know is radius, so we need to make a use of it. So what I would do, let's take all of the radiuses and connect them, why not? Connect this, connect this with this, and this with this. And as you can see, we got a triangle. And the most important thing of all of this, is this is the equal side triangle. Why it is like that? Look, we have a radius here plus this radius, which is the same because our circles are the same. So this is two radiuses, this two radiuses, and this two radiuses. So we have a side of the length two radiuses. Pretty simple. And the most important thing of all of that, they are equal. So, what we do now? If all of the sides are equal, that means of course that it is an equal side triangle, which also means that every angle of this triangle is equal to 60. Which is a really important thing. We'll find out why just in a second, but for now let's quickly calculate area of this triangle. So area of the triangle, let's write it like this, equals the formula for this looks like this. We have a side, uh, let it be s, side, s for side, squared times square root of 3, divided by 4. That is a general formula. We know that our side is 2 radiuses, so maybe to find the general formula, let's not even bother putting this one in the equation and let's solve it normally. So if the side is 2r, so 2r to the power of 2 will be 4r squared. So let's write it 4r squared, square root of 3, and we also divide this by 4. So as you can see, 4 and 4 cancels out, and we get r squared times square root of 3. Wait, if you like the explanation so far, please consider subscribing. Thank you! Ok, so we found the area of this triangle. So what we do now, look, we have three equal sectors of these circles. So if we just subtract the area from this, we will get that sweet middle point, this red area. And to do this, we can use proportions. Look, if the whole circle is 360 degrees, and we have a sector of 60 degrees, that means that area of this sector is 60 divided by 360 or 1 over 6. So this part of the circle is 1 6 of the whole circle. So all we need to do is to actually find the area of the circle. So area, let's write circle like this, equals, we know that pi r squared. And as I said, we'll not even bother with this one, we'll just leave it like that for now, to find a general formula. So now, area of this sector, I don't know how to write this, let it be sector, let's write S for the sector. So this will be pi r squared divided by 6, as we previously discussed. If you don't understand where the 6 comes from, we just take 60 divided by 360. That is just like a proportion. So that is the area of the sector, and as you know, we have three areas. So to find this little red area, we need to subtract from this area of the triangle three areas of the sector. Let's write it like area, this red area, let's write a red dot equals now we take this whole area of the triangle, so r squared times square root of 3 minus pi r squared divided by 6 and because we have 3 sectors we also do times 3 so this equals equals r squared square root of 3 minus 
pi r squared divided by 2. So this is a general formula to calculate area of this thing. So now we can just substitute this one instead of a radius to find a final solution. If we substitute it here, this will be 1 to the power of 2 times square root of 3, so just square root of 3, basically, minus, and if we substitute it here, this will be pi over 2, so let's write it, pi over 2. And let me quickly try to calculate this on a calculator, because we have irrational numbers, so I'll be here in a second. And so, after some really quick calculations, I found out that the area of this red shaded area is 0 0.16. And 0 0.16 is a final answer. And if you want to see some other geometry problems, watch this video next and try to solve this one as well. Have a nice day!